What's up, the team? We're back, Professor Max, Coach Teeth, Chris Barrow, around the Elite, here in the UK, talking pressure passing all week. Okay, this is what we do in our school. We like to put the pressure down, make our opponent feel our weight, get through that guard as soon as possible, okay, with minimal risk. Okay, today looking at the over under pass. If you want to see a master at work, check out Bernardo Faria, I think it was 2018, 19, might have been 2017. When he won every single competition, deep half to the over under, right? Because they're kind of an inverse image of each other. Today, we're gonna to talk about just the over under, the pass from there, and this is what it looks like, okay? For me, I will hit this usually when I've opened my opponent's guard and I've stepped over the leg, okay? So I'll hit this either from a half guard position my opponent overcommits on this side, I'll fire under, under and over, okay? Or I'll force the position from outside the guard. As we walk in, I'm gonna step over and I'm gonna force this position here, okay? And you'll notice that movement there. I'm taking the grip on the outside of the pants and I'm forcing that leg, that's the under portion, sorry, the over portion, forcing that under my own leg. So I'll walk into the guard here, Okay, if I look at pressure, I'll dive under, and this one will get shoved underneath. And I'm into the position here. Okay, grips, very important. Turn around quickly. I've got the pants, all right? You don't need them, you can do this no gi, you can grab them underneath the leg. In the gi, let's take the pants, okay? Because the knee is the critical part of this pass. I have to beat the knee with my hips. And by having a grip, it allows me to push the knee through. So take the grip, why not? On this side, I need to be connected to my opponent. I will take the belt all day. Okay, I'll take anything, but if the belt's there, that's one of the strongest grips we can find, right? This heavy pressure with my shoulder right on his stomach and his sternum. Okay, you'll notice my knees are not on the floor. All my pressure is on him, and I'm driving into him. Pin to the mat. Okay. The mistake people make from here is they just try and step off into side control, okay? It feels like intuitive. We feel like we're here and I just need to step over. The problem is he can chase me with this hook and he can grab me in the half guard, okay? Do that again. He can grab me in the half guard and I can't escape. So what I need to do is turn his hips this way thus reducing his ability to open up on this side. If he's turned this way, he's got a much larger range of motion than he is on this side. Okay, and that's where we need him to be so we can step off. All right, so this is what it looks like. So I'm in my position, I've gone for the over under, I'm gonna press and press and press, I'm gonna walk the opposite way. Turning his hips, now I'll step under, and now I've cleared the legs. Okay, from here, I do not advance. I stay heavy, and I want to beat this hip on the far side. Okay, because now I can start to inch my way up, and it is an inch at a time. Still got the pack grip until I get underneath my opponent's arm on the far side. Now I'll release and take my position. Okay, so it's not a pass to rush. All week, we're talking about pressure passing. We're going to take our time. We're going to put maximum pressure on our opponents. So don't lose grips until you've re grips on the far side. Okay, let's have a look from the opposite side. I'll approach my opponent's guard from here. I'm going to take a grip on the outside. Watch this hand. Here, look. Boom. We're in now. I've got my grips. Pressure's heavy. I'm going to walk away from the passing side. To a point where I turn my opponent's hips now, I open up, shelve my opponent's legs. Pressure's heavy here, it's not nice. Okay, we don't want to be nice. Now I've got that position where I've shelved the legs. I bring my arm out to the far side. And now I'm going to inch my way forward, getting underneath that elbow and shoulder line. Heavy here, now I can let go. I can go double under hooks here. I could smash the legs if I want. Check back from yesterday, or I can run round 
to a position where I'm completely controlling my opponent. I've got a path to the map. Okay, guys? Let's have a look one more time. We're going to look from the back so you can see the leg look. Remember, walk away from the passing side first, give you a chance to step over. Okay, let's have a look from a half guard situation. My opponent overcommits with the knee shield. Okay, just fire underneath, elbow leads, find the hip, off the ground. Okay, got the grip underneath. If I was to step over here, it would catch you back in the half guard. So I walk him over, now I can step through, shelve the legs. Legs are shelved, heavy pressure, beat the hip. Okay, now I inch my way, literally an inch at a time, shuffle my chest. He can be pushing, he's not going to push me off here, gripping every time. So I get underneath the elbow and shoulder. Now on the near side, I can do the same. Get to a position where fully controlling our opponent, and we've done so, giving them absolutely no chance to escape. Miserable for Coach T. He loves it, honestly, he does. Okay, over under pass from either the half guard knee shield or from the open guard is a great pass. Gives us time to slow down, put the pressure on our opponent, and get to side control. We'll see you soon.